Hey guys, Dingo here. Um, I saw a lot of ghost runs on the Metal Gear Solid subreddit, and that just led to one thing to another. I decided I want to do it. Instead of getting 100%, I decided to do a ghost run. That's no items, no weapons, no guard interaction. I did make a bit of a exemption when like that little white line, just because it. I don't have the fucking patience for that. <laughs> so. Here's my sort of run through guide. You, you know, you, you want to sprint down here, not crouch. You want to sprint. And unfortunately, I fuck it up and I don't stop at that bush. Not that one, the one before it. Because now, now we've got to go back to the checkpoint. Or not the checkpoint, we've got to redo the whole fucking mission. Which, honestly, is never fun. Those load times. So we're just going to wait for this to get back in. We're going to skip this. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna try this again. Keep in mind, even though I've only record, what do you? Hmm. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. Keep in mind, I've been trying to do this for the last two days. This may be footage that that I just super frustrating. But I have a feeling this next one, this next one's it. I'm, I'm telling you, boys, boys and girls, this is it. All right, sprint down. I'm going to stop at this precise bush, the right there, perfect. And then yeah, you're just, you're just, you're going to keep running, you're going to keep to the right. I'm not sure how that second card sees you, but I'm not going to question it. So you're going to climb up, you're going to jump off, and you're going to sprint to that speed sign, that speed limit. But we're not going to follow the speed limit, no. No, we're just going to go ham, we're going to keep going, yep, yeah, that first little post, hop over. Sprint and drop at the box, a little cardboard box. Rewind if you need to. And this is the lines that I was telling you about. I, I, I didn't know how to, else to do it without those lines popping up. And with this, you want to stop sprinting before you hit the grass. Very important. You actually brush up against the wall, like like you like as you see here, where I'm kind of leaned against it, because otherwise he kind of sometimes sees you and it throws everything off. Because there's sometimes he'll just turn around and start walking towards camp. Now the guy in there, in the prison, you gotta be careful, because more often than not, he'll see you moving to the rock. He won't alarm or anything, he'll, that white line will pop up, and he'll just shine his flashlight and go, oh, must be nothing, so that's okay. And there's multiple ways you can get in here, but I like doing this one because I like climbing things, you know? And that shot there with the blue lights, it's just, it's just too good. So you're gonna jump into the prison, you're gonna wait. He's gonna do his like cough or pick his nose, whatever he does. And he's going to raise his hand, and then he's going to turn left. Yeah, see, right there. That's when you sneak by. You can run here, but not sprint. But either way, if you time it right, you can just keep going. You want to crawl, because he'll see you through the, the cages there. So you're going to wait for him to turn again, and then you're going to roll, as you'll see here. What this allows you to do, this allows you to beat him to Chico's cage, right? And you can just immediately stand up, press triangle, and then the guard positions reset, as you see here. Boom. So now, while this cutscene is playing out, that guard is actually on the outside. And there's going to be another guard coming in pretty quickly here. So we're going to call him a chopper, just so that by the time we get there, we'll be able to put Chico on and we can just go straight for pass. So you see that guard, he's running, he's going to um, kind of stutter step a bit here, and then he's going to open the gate, he's going to check on the first prisoner. Now, I have never had luck going through the front gate while he's checking the first prisoner. I mean, I'm sure there are ways you could do it, but I, I wait for him to check on the second prisoner, because if you watch, what ends up happening is he'll check the prisoner, I don't know. thing there I should be watching the guy there so you see he says shut the hell up or whatever he does he'll stop and then he'll turn around that's your chance to move now what I do to open this gate really effectively is to aim without a weapon I, I don't know why it just works oh shit Oh, this is just getting silly. This is just getting silly. These ghost runs, I'm telling you, they're they're much harder than I thought they would be. Truly. 
<sighs> let's just let's just try it again. Let's see what happens. Fuck it. So, run down the hill, avoid the searchlight by like an inch. And then you're gonna stop at that bush or that little grass there. You're gonna run, not sprint. I'm just gonna keep on trucking. It's the exact same path as before. Um, you just you just want to keep keep going. And the thing about ghost runs, since we've all seen this before, the thing about ghost runs is that they take time, effort, and number one, patience. Patience and practice, I think, is the number one. Um, I've always liked to believe that I have those things, but you know, sometimes, sometimes you just the best thing you should do is just take a break, you know, and just think about your route, try to figure out, you know, where, where are you going kind of thing, you know, maybe, maybe there's a, a different path you could sort of take. I unfortunately decided to do the exact same thing, the exact same route, and, you know, this time, I, I, I think, it, I think it'll work out, I, I, I truly do. You know, I'm just waiting for that dude there. Let me just step up, look up there, bam, jump over. He did it a little quick, a little quicker than usual, I think, yeah, the last 43 times I did this. He didn't turn that fast, so we'll see how this goes. But I appear to, you know, to catch up to him so I can still do the the, the roll and the mad... D oh, shit, okay. This run isn't going so well, apparently. So we're just, you know what, we're just gonna keep rolling. We're just gonna shake it off and we're just gonna, we're gonna keep going. We're a little bit too far there, but that's okay. Alright. Now we just... Pick up Chico. I accidentally marked him, apparently. Now we wait for the guy. Oh, shit. So sometimes what'll happen is... So my capture card failed, and if you're wondering why I have a soldier, in my possession, I unfortunately had to trank him. It was it was awkward. Lost the footage, unfortunately. Um, but I've named him Frank. Um, he didn't spot me. He almost did, but I managed to manage to get him. Um, but no guard interactions. So what's going to happen here is Frank. He actually uh, went home sick. Yep, he had a stomach ache or a, a headache or whatever fucking excuse my ex used to use when she wouldn't let me smash. So, we're just going to keep on going here and no guard interaction. We're going. This is fine. We're going to load Chico up. Yeah, just put him up there. And you know, the thing about ghost runs is that they're not, they're, they're always player rules, so to speak. You know, it's, it's just widely accepted that Ghost Runs, you know, not being spotted, the hardest difficulty, stuff like that. And I, I agree with those rules. I think they're good rules. Now, for this part here, I'm sorry, I should get back to the actual guide. You want to crouch walk. You don't want to sprint because the guys behind you are going to see. And <clears throat> what, there's going to be a guy with the truck here. Um, I appear to get lucky here. He's not there for some reason. You're just gonna steal the truck and you're gonna drive. You're just gonna drive through the front gate, as you see here. Um, with the way the AI works, it's it's really weird because sometimes there will be guards and other times there won't be. So this is definitely one of my luckier runs. I um I definitely think. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot of guards. I'm just getting super lucky. So we're just we're just gonna keep going. So the key here is to take the route which gives you the most cover. So you wanna go off to the right when you get through that front door. You wanna hop over this thing. Just because it looks cool and it saves like 
I don't know, half a second, which will really help you get that big boss rank. And you want to, again, most cover. You don't want to barge through the front door. So you go here, we're just going to stop. We're going to check, make sure there's no guards. There appears to be a guard's rifle on the ground. I'm not sure what happened here, but all right. So again, just going to check. Doesn't seem to be any guards, but we're going to take most cover possible. And we're just, at this point, I'm super excited. I've never gotten this far in a ghost run. So I'm just, I'm elated to say the least, you know, and we're going through helicopters gone. Don't know why, but we got paths. We're ready to go. Okay. We're just, but you can't lose your cool here. This is an important part because the moment you lose your cool, it, it all ends. But one thing I will say, when you've been practicing a ghost run for a while, you start, I don't want to say you stop caring, but you sort of get numb to the failures. And you get numb enough to the point where you just, you just kind of stop caring about the outcome. You just say, screw it, just going to try it, just going to see what happens. And this one here. I definitely said screw it, I was going to try a brand new route, and I'm pretty pleased with how this works, like, I'm so surprised I was able to use this Jeep, because usually they'll sp spot you a mile away, and that, oh my god, it's so frustrating. So the key thing here to note is while you are in a Jeep, when it's nighttime like this, you'll want to turn off your headlights, added stealth. Now there would be a camera there, but it's under repairs, maintenance teams. I, I gotta say the AI in this game is superb so basically we're gonna take the same route that we went through with the truck except this time we're going in reverse in the Jeep you're gonna call the chopper here so you can save more time so by the time we get there the chopper will already be there waiting well maybe close enough point is you'll be doing stuff while the uh, chopper is coming so we're gonna stop here as close as we can without falling over and no we're not going for the other POWs, just because we're aiming for a good completion time here. And we're gonna take, again, most cover possible. And we're just gonna we're just gonna keep on going. So there's the rendezvous site. And so far, it's, it's so good, really. It uh definitely. So now we're just waiting for helicopter some pretty good water effects I must say I'm very surprised the Fox engine sort of came out of left field you know which I mean not really out of left field but I I didn't hear about the project over or anything I was way too behind the times on that one but it uh yeah so far it's it's been it's been great so we load up paths and we get the hell out of here. It's, yeah. So that's my guide for ghost running, no items, uh, no guard interactions, hard mode on Ground Zero's main mission. Um, I don't know what my rank will be. I'm assuming S though. Um, only because, I mean, we did so well. I mean, granted it took us 10 minutes, but and as you can see here, I, I'm super excited. I just want to get past it. Just want to see my rank. And just, oh, I'm so excited. Here it is, the grand reveal. Yes! B for big boss. See, that's the type of ghost runs that I think are truly the best, really. It's just so excellent. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.